Good and welcome to Savvy Sentient. This is going to be your December 2020 general reading. Uh, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this reading resonates, then it was meant for you. If it does not, you may want to check the signs in your other placements to find a reading that is uh, better suited for you at this time. If you would like to purchase a personal reading, all the information you need will be in the description box below. Now let's get into your reading, Pisces. Spirit, please tell me what this reading is going to be about for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know the most? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two cards. All right. So we have the Six of Swords, which is moving to calmer waters. And the Fool, which is a new beginning. So you could be moving away from something that isn't so... Um, stable into to something brand new okay you're gonna move into calmer waters with a new beginning so spirit please tell me about pisces in their recent past what, what happened with pisces in their recent past oh 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 okay okay so it looks like you were, you were having a, um, I think this is work related. So you have the page of wands here. This is new exploration, discovery, setting out to explore things. Pages are curious and adventurous, uh, well, pages of wands. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. This is about charity. This is about equal give and take in uh, relationships or business uh, matters. So it looks like in the recent past, you may have been given an opportunity by someone who had a little money or had um, some type of experience that you did not, you were given an opportunity. And this is an opportunity that you actually manifested. This was something that you really wanted to do and were very passionate about. Okay. Let's see why that's in your recent past though. Maybe it looked, it looked like something that it wasn't. You thought it was something that it wasn't. Maybe it looked like this person was being charitable towards you, but they were actually wanting something from you with the magician here. The, ma the magician, usually in the reverse position, would be more like manipulation. But let's uh, look further into that. Can I get another card to clarify the recent past? Clarify this magician, please. Clarify the magician, please. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. It looks like this was something that you thought would take care of you. Something that you thought would be very stable and that would make you comfortable in life. Can I get a card for the current position? Judgment. Judgment comes out in your current position. But now you see you see the situation clearer. More clearly. I'm sorry. You see the situation more clearly. So you made a judgment call about it. What is this judgment about? Oh, we have the devil with the hierophant. Okay. Um, so the devil can represent toxicity. It can re it can represent excess, too much of something. Uh, this does look like a work reading. This could be love if it resonates for you in that way. Um, but... It looks like you had to make a judgment call about what happened in the recent past. 
because the situation looked like something that it wasn't. You thought it was something that would be good for you, that would take care of you. Maybe something that would take care of other people. And you had to move away from it. You started seeing things more clearly because it was actually a toxic situation. You see now that this was a toxic situation. Uh, the Hierophant is, is an efficient. Uh, this is someone who is knowledgeable. Um, this is a card of learning as well. So this Hierophant can represent the person in your recent past who was supposed to be the charitable person. This could have been the person who you thought was there to help you and guide you in this uh, new endeavor, but this person actually turned out to be uh, a not so great person. Maybe had ulterior motives. Maybe tried to use their position to push you into something, make you do things that maybe you didn't think were the best but they like reassured you like, no, 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 this is how things are done. This is how we're going to get to where we're, we're going. This is how we're going to get what we want. This is how we're going to help people. You might have been thinking that you were in something that was going to help a lot of people and take care of a lot of people. But this person was somebody who was manipulative. Okay, let's see what's in your recent or your near future. Okay, that popped right out. Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, she's a very passionate leader. And I think this is you. I think you're passionate about what you want to do. Um, in, your, in your recent past, you had the Page of Wands. This is young energy, not knowing. But in the near future, you're a queen now. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but it's like everything that you've experienced with this person, with this um, situation, has helped you to gain knowledge. And you're now in a position where you're the queen of wands and you know a little bit more about what it, what it is you're trying to do. Okay, let's clarify the queen of wands. Yeah, you definitely have a little bit more experience now. Let's clarify the queen of wands. Yeah, so you, you have more experience now. And now things are going to start moving in your favor. I think you're going to be able to do whatever it is that you were trying to do initially on your own without the help of this manipulative um, leader or a person who knows everything, this professional in the subject that you're interested in. And I think that's what this new beginning is. You just going out on your own. All right. Can we just get one more card for this near future? Near future. Uh, Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is a card of rest. Um, you can finally <laughs> rest. You don't have to be so stressed out and so worried about everything that's happened to you in the past with the situation. Uh, you don't have to be concerned about this manipulative person anymore. You don't have to have them hovering over you anymore, okay? Uh, with the full card as your signifier, that's your new beginning. You're now in a place where you're wise enough to uh, do that on your own. You don't need this person anymore. Any more messages for Pisces? Okay. Any more messages for Pisces? Yep. <laughs> this is the death card. All right, this is a rebirth. All of this is gonna die. All of this is over. And it is a time of rebirth. This is your time. Okay, so let's get some messages from the Moon Oracle, Moonology Oracle, about the situation. What messages do we have for Pisces? What messages do we have for Pisces? 
What messages do we have for Pisces? Oh, it's a lot. Can't take them all. We're going to put them back. Messages for Pisces, please. Just a couple. Thank you. A couple messages for Pisces. Okay. Full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Let's just do one more Moonology card for you, Pisces. The answers you need are coming, though. Oh, and adjustments are required with the third quarter moon. So let's look deeper into these cards. Okay, so we're going to start with the first card that came out. The answers you need are coming, the full moon in Gemini. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth. But remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could be one or a few ver uh, conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message, least said, soonest mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't using, you aren't causing yourself any issues uh, with your words. Words have an enormous power, as metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin put it your word is your wand you create magic and you create your own reality every time you express yourself additional meanings for this card are don't be superficial someone is trying to flirt with you have you noticed you need to laugh off the situation and just move on job applications have good prospects so yeah again this really does feel like a job or work related uh, issue. This is something that you're very passionate about. And with this card here, I believe the best uh, solution is to say as little needs to be said. Um, guard your plans. If this is an employer you're trying to get away from, let them know very little. It may even require you to not put in a two weeks notice. Just uh, quietly creep away. Just because you want to avoid retaliation, this person seems very uh, vengeful. Um, the next one we have is adjustments are required. Third, moon, third quarter moon. Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled with more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there's a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved, which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you can get where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may be a crisis now which will remind you of what you want and what it's time to let go of so pay attention additional meanings for this card your life may be out of balance and this is and this may cause be causing your issue it's time to hatch a whole new plan something new and exciting is around the corner trust may be required to move the situation forward yeah so a whole new plan is you sitting here as the queen of sword uh queen of wands with um, luck in your favor, with more experience, it's now time for you to strike out on your own. But again, keep your keep your plans to yourself. Don't share this with anyone out of spite. Like, I don't need you anymore. Watch me. Watch me do this. 
Just keep it to yourself. All right. Um, with this person here seeming to be a not so awesome person, <laughs> I would definitely hold my cards close to my chest. All right. So Pisces, that has been your message. If this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. If not, still like, share, and subscribe, but then check your other placements. All right. Thank you for watching. And until the next time I see you, I'm wishing you love and light and everything right. And I will see you in your next reading. Good night.